Hi, welcome to this class. In this lesson today, I'm going to be showing you how I designed this ebook cover. Of course, for this particular lesson, we're only taking a look at the cover. I'm not going to go in depth or talk about the inside of the book at all because that's not what we're focused on. But if you haven't gotten the book for hacking hashtags, you want to check the link in my bio right now or the link in the description of this video depending on where you're watching this video um, it's almost 40 pages long teaching you all about hashtags now for the cover of the book it's pretty simple we're working with a lot of rectangles and text and so I'm gonna get into Canva right now we're going to start with a new document and when I'm creating ebooks in Canva I like to create my designs in the US letter document so I start fresh now of course in Canva when you are designing you can start with a template so if you had a template um from canva for instance every time you're designing in canva once you select your size all the template ideas that canva will give you will be dependent on your size so if i needed a cover i would just search in the templates for cover and see what canva has for me and these are all of the covers that are here or i could say book cover to be specific and let's see what comes up and these are the book covers that come up of course if you were using a template on canva which um, you can use uh, depending on how you want to edit you just create like different pages here and select your book cover that you think will work for you um, and then canva will resize it to your your uh, post or your page sorry six caps okay i was trying to see what that uh, font is I like that font okay so if I needed another book cover if I see another cover that looks like something that I need I will just go into Canva and I will select it it comes on it resizes itself to my page and I can begin to edit all of this text if I had an African relish <laughs> African recipe, all African recipes, okay. All African recipes. So if this was my book, for instance, all African recipes, you begin to edit like that, and then you take things around, and you begin to change uh, stuff. But of course, I did not start. Let's change this to maybe like a food uh, image. We just check for food on the photos. And Canva usually has a bunch of um, pictures that you can use for free and pictures that, you know, are maybe not for free as well, like from the pro account for Canva. Um, so this is just a simple idea or a simple way for you to create a book cover. But for my cover, which is this one right here, uh, where's my cover? For my cover, I started from scratch, right? And I'm going to show you exactly how I created this cover in Canva. So what I started with was the color of the page. I did not like to work on white. I didn't want a white background for my color, but I also wanted something that was close to white. And so I think that this was the color that I chose. And all I did was take it... Um, and I go into the color wheel right here and I begin to move this towards like the brightest shade just so that it's not white but it's not too dark as well you know it has uh, some form of color and that's that the next thing that I did was work with some rectangles on the bottom for where my name is and so I'm just picking up the shape right here so basically you want to go to elements and you want to go to shapes and I've taken the square I'm going to change that to a rectangle like that and this is just going to be right down here for my name okay now the reason that I'm, I'm creating this class for you is so that you can see all of the possibilities you know from whether you are editing the cover from Canva templates or whether you're creating one on your own and because I, I'm creating an ebook that is in digital marketing social media marketing I've also looked around to see like what my competition is doing what their books look like so I kind of have an idea in my head of what I want it to look like and how I want to pull in attention the other rectangle that I'm working with I'm going to duplicate this but first I'm going to give it a color and then I'm going to duplicate it 
so you click right here and it makes a copy now I have a copy of that next I'm going to go and add my text so my text is hacking hashtags which is the title of my ebook it's about how you can use hashtags on Instagram because I find that a lot of people maybe even you watching this lesson right now you don't know how to use hashtags to grow on Instagram and that's what this ebook is about and so I have hacking hashtags right there and I'm going to change this to my font which is Antonio Bold the next thing that I'm going to do is separate this two so I'm going to delete this copy and remove that so that I have one copy that and then I have two for the hashtags I'm going to make that bigger okay let's add an S and this is exactly what I did so let's make this uh, white um, actually just this one uh, I'm going to change that to white because I'm going to take this and put it on the background. And as you can see, it's such a very simple process. It's not uh, complicated at all. I'm going to move this slightly up so that that is in the middle. And then I'm going to close this up. I'm going to close this up. And this is just my, my design head working right now. Let's sort of make this bigger a little bit. There. Now, um, the next thing that I did was add my subtext, you know, saying what the, what the book is about. But let's just get into my name. We're going to duplicate this. I'm going to add a name here. Um, so I just really wanted you to see how so very simple creating an ebook cover is, even if you're starting from scratch. But of course, uh, you kind of want to have a pretty clean idea of, of how you want your ebook to look this is how I wanted my ebook to look it could be different for you of course when you're making yours or you can just start with a template um, from Canva I'm going to make this one white and the next thing to do is to add my subtext so what did I say <laughs> The, def the definitive guide on how to use hashtags. <laughs> okay, so let's go. Let's go to that. Okay, now you have your subtext. Um, it's very important that you have a subtext because the subtext will tell your uh, reader what your ebook is about. And I think that that is so important to have the definitive guide on. I think this should be on a different line. What did I do here? Exactly. Now for this text, we want to tighten things up. I'm going to close this a little bit. No, that's not correct. We're going to undo that. And we're going to select all of that so that we can bring the text closer. And I always say in all of my Canva lessons, um, how you style your text is so very important. You don't want to make your lines too far apart that the text looks like it's not together. You don't want to make your lines too tight that you know it's difficult to read the text. Like this, for instance, there is no breathing room for that text. Um, so we're going to open it up again on the lines. And we're also going to open it up on the text or we're going to close it just a little bit. And that's it. I'm going to make this much smaller. And put this in the middle and of course when you're moving around in Canva Canva tells you when you are in the middle of the page um, and when you're out of, of the border so now I'm in the middle of the page I'm just going to drop this right here the next part of this is just a simple arrow that I found on um, on Canva so that the arrow is was that is that correct yeah So basically how the elements come together to make your cover look nice 
that's what you're that's what you're working on okay um i'm not sure that i can find that exact arrow right now uh, oh my bad that's actually a png image so i actually have an image here that i downloaded for free and i'm just going to pull up that image again and bring it into canva oh this is it right here so all of this comes together and so i put this in the middle of the page the next element is my phone showing instagram because of course i'm talking about hashtags and i want that to reflect so i have this image right here of hashtags that i screenshot on my phone so this is just a screenshot image of my phone right um, what i'm going to do is then get my phone I'm going to make this much smaller let's put that down here um, I also have an image of my phone that I have uh, an image of the kind of phone that I use basically uh, which is this Android phone right here and this is a PNG image you see the phone it has no background um, take a look at this picture it has no background so if you're looking for a phone image to use for your videos or for your photos um, you want to find a PNG image of the phone that you're looking for and you want to make sure that it doesn't have a background okay so this image is transparent and I can just put it over my screenshot and then it looks like they're together I'm going to sort of make this larger just a little bit and put that right back next I'm going to select these two together and I'm going to group them okay so that every time I move they both go together and so because I'm talking about hashtags I have put that phone cover right there and I'm going to put this here I'm going to position that to the front of the phone and that's that okay I'm just going to make this larger just a little bit And this is how I do that. So that looks beautiful. And you see where we're starting from, you know, from a very empty page to all of this now. So it's all of the elements, you know, working together to make the book or the cover look nice. So let me know, do you like this lesson? Do you want more lessons like this? You want me to go behind the scenes, show you how I design things, eBooks, um, Adobe Premiere, editing video editing ebooks canva tutorials let me know in the comments uh below what sort of lessons you'll be like uh what am i saying what kind of lessons you like to watch from me what is it that you want to learn on canva also check the link in the description for um a discount for this particular book hacking hashtags if you want to learn how to hack your hashtags so that your hashtags can begin to work on your account because check it you can get lots of followers from hashtags alone take a look at this screenshot right here I'm just going to delete that and go to a new page these are some screenshots from my actual accounts on Instagram you can see that I have 1,000 followers from hashtags because my hashtag impressions were about 48,000 impressions and people shared this post a lot and so in combination I had 1,000 followers from a single post this is another picture right here of a different post and take a look at that this is on another account 69% not following hashtag 6,000 impressions so if you're serious about having people find you on Instagram um, and growing your account really quickly and you're posting two three posts a day you can get hundred followers a day if you're able to get 32 people coming in from hashtags um, when your hashtags peak so knowing how to use hashtags on Instagram is so very important this is another account that I am working on for a client and you can see um, the impressions from hashtag 72% and this is another one as well um, uh, 58% from hashtags and so these are the kinds of things that you will learn in the ebook I teach you how to hack your hashtags how to find hashtags that work for you how to actually make your hashtags work so leave me comments in the comment section below check the description for the link to this ebook I'll also leave a coupon code for you if you're watching this lesson there's a coupon code um, that you can use right now to get a discount and I'll see you 
in the next lesson. So let me know what other tutorials you'd like to uh, watch from me and I'll see you soon. Bye.